Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and as we uh, do another video of what can make updates go wrong and here we talk about Windows updates, about feature updates like new versions of Windows 10, what can actually have, um, what basically your PC can have as a problem that will prevent or make a update go wrong, well, drivers. Drivers, a lot of people don't know what they are. A lot of people have, you know, they see their computer working and they, you know, don't exactly know how, and most people don't know exactly how it works. Well, if you right click in the start menu on the bottom left and go into the device manager option, you will have what is called a list of drivers. The device manager gives you all the different drivers that your PC has. So in each category, you have names of different devices that run. And these drivers are very important. They are actually making sure that Windows and the device that is connected actually know how to communicate together and work together. Problem is, drivers are little pieces of software, they're programs. And this is a problem because if the manufacturer that made the device actually did not program the driver correctly, it can crash your PC. So a lot of people complaining of blue screens, often it's a driver that's bad and they blame Windows, but in reality, it's the manufacturer of one of the devices that is crappy in coding and that actually has a bad driver. It also, a driver can get old. A driver has, you know, a date when it was done. Some drivers will work for 10 years with the same driver all the time without any problems. Some drivers, depending on how the upgrade goes and depending on the technologies used and the coding of Windows, might become obsolete. That means you update to a new version of Windows your computer doesn't work well. Once again, you blame Windows, but it's in reality a driver that might suddenly be incompatible with a new way of working in Windows. Um, when you get a new update of Windows, a new feature update, one of the things that a lot of people don't know is that there are new technologies that are dealt with in a different way. So very often they'll change the code to adapt Windows to a new reality of devices and of way of working. Well, on some code, the drivers need to actually follow that also. The driver needs to be updated to also reflect that reality. That's where it's very complex within Windows. That's where it's always a, a, a difficult task because Microsoft does the Windows code, it actually will tell manufacturers, you know, you need to update your drivers because we're going to do this or that change. Sometimes also that change creates that problem with the driver without, you know, they didn't see it coming. It could happen also. How do you update your drivers? Well, there's two ways. The easy way is to right click in your start menu, go to the device manager in here look at your adapter, your, your different drivers, and the main drivers that are um, to update most of the time are the graphics or the display drivers. The um, other one could be the network adapters. Um, these are often the ones that you want to actually check, but it's always a little complex to do so. If you have a brand computer, the best bet, and the best thing on a branded computer and what I mean by brand computer, if you have a computer that has a comp company name on it, Acer, uh, Lenovo, HP, most people buy you know laptops today that are actually made from a manufacturer. Go to the manufacturer's website. You have an HP, go to the HP website. Search in the support page for your uh, model. What model of laptop or, de or desktop you have. Often there are stickers underneath or on the sides that will give you that information. 
Unfortunately, I totally agree that the user should not have to do this job of updating by yourself. It's not up to you to do that, and there should be a better way of updating drivers from the manufacturer. Unfortunately, manufacturers and Microsoft often are at odds on how to do this, and it never works totally well. But drivers are a very important part of making sure your computer works fine. So if you have problems after updating to a new version of Windows 10, it could be a driver. You don't see Windows 10, the new version coming out, that might be a driver that's actually outdated that's preventing you from moving ahead. And um, you might also see, um, you know, all sorts of little things happening um, like, you know, blue screens and so on. And that might mean that there's something wrong with one of the drivers within the PC. And unfortunately, like I say all the time, not more than 95% of problems are not Windows related, but either third party antivirus like I did in the first video or driver related like in this case. It could be the case also. So getting the latest drivers is often a, um, a, a, a important task. Unfortunately, it's not an easy task for most people. Um, so that's why I always say that manufacturers should actually use the Windows Update side of things to push new drivers rather than have us hunt and search for them on their websites. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.